but we'll get into more of it today. The case of Ellen Greenberg, the horrific stabbing death that she received in 2011, just outside Maniunk, Pennsylvania, which is in the Philadelphia area, East Falls, where she was found stabbed 10 times in the front, 10 times in the back, including the back of her head, including her spinal column, twice, according to testimony from medical examiners, post-mortem. And yet Josh Shapiro signed off on this being a suicide. And why would he do that? Does it have to do with potential connections that her fiance had to powerful members of the Pennsylvania legal community? Just some basic questions that we don't seem to have gotten answers to and that Josh Shapiro doesn't seem to want to give us answers to. Why is it then that the family of Ellen Greenberg has tried for 13 years to just get some semblance of an investigation going? And yet when you go to Josh Shapiro's office, when he was the attorney general, Josh Shapiro would just tell you, oh, no, 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 just a suicide. There's nothing to see here. It seems like there's a lot to see here, but Josh Shapiro doesn't want you to see that. The same way that he doesn't want you to know about the sexual harassment going on in his own office that was perpetuated by one of his cabinet members, a guy by the name of Mike Vera. Mike Vera, a former Republican who decided to become a traitor and go and work for a Democrat governor. The same Mike Vera from Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, that I used to see walking around blitzed drunk out of his mind in Walmart. Yes, that is the same Mike Vera. So it doesn't surprise me at all that this absolute lush would take the same philandering behavior to the state house, to the cabinet, when he decided to throw in with Josh Shapiro, stab his own party in the back, and then decide to go and commit sexual harassment, the same way that he doesn't seem to have any loyalty to his own party, to his own ideals, or really anyone but himself. What can I say? Couldn't happen to a better couple of guys, but very interestingly, Josh Shapiro, we're told, didn't even want to stand up for something like this, paid the hush money, tried to go after the victim in this case. Why does Josh Shapiro not care about female victims, whether it's the victim of 20 stab wounds in the front or the back, or it's the female victim of sexual harassment in his own offense? Plus, we haven't even gotten into how Josh Shapiro signed off on the controlled burn in East Palestine. Stay tuned, folks. we got a big show today. Mike Benz is here. Josh Shapiro, I haven't forgotten what you said about a couple years back. I'm not going away. Stay tuned.